What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video planned. Before we get on to this, make sure you guys comment. Positive vibes only. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, make sure you guys subscribe down below to my channel as well as subscribe to my Kalelia Vlogs channel. I've got some really good videos going out on there soon. And a huge announcement about it. Kind of huge, not really. We will get to that maybe in the middle of the video, so stay tuned. <coughs> we have some very intense things that we're gonna be talking about today. We are going to be talking today about high school advice that I wish I had got. I mean, some of it I kind of already figured and just didn't think, so we're gonna be, we're gonna be explaining all that today. I did go to high school. I was in high school for half of one year. I've been off and on in high school. I have been, for the past, I think, year and a half now, I was uh, still going to high school part-time. I did a class there. So I have high school experience. First thing I want to talk about is uh, kind of the schedules, scheduling, stuff like that. So, at least from the school I went to when I was a freshman, a little freshy, ninth grade was a part of high school. I don't know if it is for you guys or what it is, but for me, high school was ninth grade through 12th grade. I'm gonna be blinded. So on the first day, they had like this freshman day. So freshmen started a day earlier than the rest. It's kind of like a practice day, basically. Because, you know, it's a huge school. You have all these different classes. Some might have these seven classes. Some might have four one day, four another day. And so it can be a little bit intense. And for a, what, 14, 15 year old, it can be a little bit scary and daunting. I think that's the right word. We had a freshman day, and honestly, it seems stupid, but I would honestly go to it because if it weren't for that, story time. On my first day of school, the freshman day, and I went to like two classes that weren't my classes like for that day. Um, I was very confused with the A day and B day schedule. That's the one that we had. It was A day and B day. Some have odd and even, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so we, I had gone to a different class because I had gotten mixed up with the A day and B day, I think. So I went to the wrong class and then I was also having some struggles with trying to figure, like, with getting to classes on time because it was very large, at least for me being like five foot. Actually, I probably was five foot or lower. Wow, I'm short. Luckily, that day helped because then the next day when all the rest of the classmates, all the rest of the grades came, I was able to get to my classes on time. I actually kind of understood and got a flow of it. So that really, really helped. Um, also, when you first get like your schedules, normally you can go to the school, kind of see your classes, your locker, walk around. So I did that with my mom as well, and that really helped. So honestly, it seems kind of dumb, but I seriously would do that. If I were you, being as a freshman, I would really do that. It is actually very helpful. Yeah! Moving on, next we've got boys. We love boys. And we hate boys. Um, first of all, I gotta say, they are very different compared to boys in middle school, junior high. Like, I feel like they kind of mature, but at the same time, not really. Boys are not everything in high school. You know, I have always thought, well, I didn't always think that, but I always made it seem like that's what it was. Boys, you need, like, getting a boyfriend. It's what, like, it's the best thing. Having that relationship so cute and all this stuff. Honestly, if it was me, do not get a boyfriend. At least the first two, maybe three years of your high school. Honestly, if you want to have a good, like, high school life, is that what we would call it? Don't get a boyfriend. Now, kudos to, kudos? Is that the word? Kudos? Kudos? Kudos to all of you guys that have, like, boyfriends. You know what? That's awesome. Happy for you. That's great. It's not, like, completely wrong and you need to break up your boyfriend right now. If you're happy with them, awesome. Great. If you are not, and say you're crying every single night about them, or even maybe once every other day, something like that, maybe makes you feel insecure, or you are not benefiting them and they are not benefiting you, they are not worth it. I was boy crazy, am boy crazy. Um, and I thought, oh my goodness, I need to get a boyfriend, it's gonna be the best, looking at Visco, looking at Instagram, all these people with boyfriends, they're so cute, they're so happy together, it's perfect, it's gonna make your high school, high school years, like, the best. No, it's not. You know, it's good to get experience, 
right? Finding who, like, dating around. So dating can be good to, like, find kind of what you want. It's great, it's fun. Um, but with a relationship, I kind of feel like it, for me, personally, with one of the boyfriends, it made my, honestly, year, not even kidding, kind of suck. I stopped hanging out with all my friends. I only focused on him, 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 which yes, that is my fault as well. Getting very super focused on this one guy. It made me focus very much on just him. I lost all of my friends. I was losing my relationship with my family because I was very focused on him. My YouTube channel was going down. I was honestly going down. It was not his fault exactly. It was definitely mine too, my mindset, but that's also another thing you need to look at is if he's making like your mindset, yeah. Anyways, um, and then when we had to break up, that made another like six months. No, it's been what, four months? Okay, I'm exaggerating, but it made a long time. I was depressed because I thought he was my everything. I was uh, really just sad, all this type of stuff. And again, made me go down, made my channel go down, everything go down. So honestly, like if you put it on a scale, getting a boyfriend, it kind of weighs down, like, getting a boyfriend kind of goes down and just not. Now, to all of you guys who have boyfriends, that's awesome. Keep doing you. But, yeah, that's something I would say. Really, honestly, don't get a boyfriend in the first, like, three, well, for a while until you really, really feel ready or whatever. But have fun. Honestly, I feel like having fun, if you want a really great relation or high school years, like, don't get a boyfriend. I've already repeated that. So, there you go. There's a situation on boys and basically high school relationships. Now, we're gonna talk about friends and girl drama because we all, we all love that. So, girl drama. We love it and we hate it. For some reason, we really hate girl drama, but we always seem to get tied back into it and almost start girl drama for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but it always ends up happening. So, a big thing is choosing your friends, like, carefully. Um, you can be, like, I get being super bubbly and outgoing, and being friends with everyone, honestly, is great. I wouldn't tie yourself to, like I said about boys, tie yourself to one girl, one best friend. Um, some people, that might actually be better for them, so it depends on you, but for me personally, um, I had a best friend. You guys all know her. I would say with girl best friends, we're gonna talk about that right now. Again, if you're having lots of issues, lots of fights all the time, if you are, if she's not benefiting you and you're not benefiting her, it's not really worth it. Honestly, have lots of different friends. I think a girl group, having lots of girl best friends is awesome because one might be sick. You might be having drama with one. You could go to this other one. You have different like options and all together you guys could be a blast. I have a friend group now and honestly, it has been so much better. Having a girl best friend, it almost seems awesome, seems amazing and some of you guys might have that amazing relationship which I'm jealous of and that's awesome for you. But for some people, it might not work out. Like for me, it definitely did not work out. And I would honestly, honestly, I'd get to know you yourself first before you get a boyfriend or before you find that girl best friend because you need to know what you want. You need to have those boundaries and stuff so that you understand what you're getting into so that you can know what to and not to do, all that kind of stuff. College and future and trying to plan that. So when most people go into high school, ninth grade through 12th grade or 10th grade, whenever you start like high school, I guess ninth grade, a lot of people go in it thinking, okay, I need to take all of these classes for college. I need to do this and this and this, which is good. If you're that type of person and you know exactly what you want to do, great, go for it. And then for all of you guys who don't really know what you want, that is okay. I kind of still am not sure and I am going to be a senior and I'm going to be graduating very soon. It's okay to not exactly know what you want. Um, it's good to try out lots of different things, test out different classes, all of those uh, like extra classes, extracurricular classes. I really have not been to school in so long. Wow, this is bad. But all of those extra credit classes, I think that's what it's called. But they're also to learn more, to grow yourself more, to figure out more of what you want. So I would really look into those, maybe try some ones that you 
have never tried before or some things you've kind of thought about and are not really sure because you might be scared about it or it might not be cool try it out honestly those classes go all out on all of those have some fun about it because that's also gonna make your high school years really fun too is if you have those fun classes they also help you grow help you figure out what you want so those are very beneficial some people may think I need to study all the time they need to get straight A's they need to always be on top of it and all this stuff studying like five hours each day all that type of stuff you really don't honestly you need that balance because you don't want to just go and have lots of fun and fail all your classes but you don't want to be a straight-A student being like the teacher's pet or whatever and not really have much fun at all there's definitely a balance in between it yes studying is good you need to take your classes seriously but you don't need to spend all day every day working and stuff um go and have fun on the weekends go and just be fun hang out all that type of stuff and when you're in your classes you can take that seriously and you can really work on that and even get all your work done there and then go and hang out when you get home but there's definitely that balance and you need to really find that balance teachers this one seems pretty cliche and some people probably do not want to but teachers are there to help you they do not get paid however much they do which it's very small they're not there just to sit and like lecture you they want to help you they want to make sure you succeed all of that stuff sometimes they might want you to su succeed too intensely but that's okay that's how they want to do it so talk to your teachers they really will help and honestly having that good relationship with them not like crazy relationship I mean you could if you want but just talking to them and getting an understanding of each other is really really helpful and it could honestly probably make it even better because then you kind of understand them more and they might not be so lecturing with you they might have a better relationship with you so it could make your high school years even better as well which is what we all want right school outings and parties okay so when i went into high school i kind of imagined kind of like in the movies there's gonna be high school parties each week there's the really really popular group and there's the less popular groups all that type of stuff i mean for my school i don't know about your schools each school is different but for me there was no like really popular group and there was there was no like crazy intense parties now if you have parties awesome Go have some fun. A huge thing about this is like setting boundaries. You need to know what you want to do and what you do, like your boundaries basically. Like what I will do, what I won't do, that in between, everything. But go have fun, parties can be fun. I went to one and it was really fun. Really crazy, really awesome. Parties can be awesome. You might meet some new people, but again, you need to understand yourself because if you do not want to do drugs or you do not want to drink, all those types of things, and you have friends there that may want you to, you need to know, no, I do not do this, all that type of stuff. But parties can be fun. Go and hang out. But again, know yourself and your boundaries. All right, well, that is the end of this video. Um, I hope it helped you guys. Sorry, I talk very, very quickly. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to comment down below or maybe comment to me or DM me and maybe I can help you or talk to you, whatever you guys want. Make sure to do that. Comment, subscribe. Subscribe to my Claylea Vlogs channel because I got some good stuff going on there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you and I'll see you guys later. Bye.